What's going on champs and jambits? It's Fire Monkey here and we are currently in the wonderful time of Christmas 2020 also known as Winterfest 2020 for all the Fortnite players out there of course because you're here on the Fortnite channel why wouldn't you be playing this game? And you know what I like to do every Christmas time? I like to go to the Winterfest Lodge if Epic Games makes it available sit there by the fireplace and just think about some things but of course you know you can't just feel warm by a virtual fireplace in the game without getting some free in-game gifts as well which is why in today's YouTube video we're going to kind of ramble on a bit about a weird system Epic Games is doing for Winterfest 2022, where by playing with multiple friends, you can get a free emote, even though this emote isn't going to be related to anything Christmas themed at all. It's kind of a weird situation, so I'll just be giving you guys my opinion and everything on it, while of course giving you all the information. So let's go ahead, hop in a match while I play with Tater in some bot lobbies and tell you everything you need to know. All right, now that we're in game, let's go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a rundown on their blog post regarding what this free mode, free emote is and everything going on with it first. So the official blog post stated the following, carry your friends, carry some weights, play with five different friends from your friends list in any game mode during Winterfest 2022, AKA December 13th, which was yesterday, all the way to January 3rd at 9 a.m. Eastern time to receive the curling iron emote entirely for free. They also mentioned that the item won't be granted right away and instead you'll have to wait until around January 6th in order to actually get this free emote granted to your account. So once you've played with five friends, right? If you think you've gone through all the challenges and everything, you've played with enough friends to qualify for this, you're just going to have to wait, right? You're just going to have to play the guessing game over, did I get this emote? Did I not get this emote? And that's kind of like the main purpose I really wanted to discuss about with today's YouTube video is just kind of how they're handling it, right? So firstly, let's talk about the emote itself. The curling iron emote is a pretty simple one. You know, I talked about it in yesterday's YouTube video where we talked about all the new emotes and everything, but it's just something where you're you're lifting weights, right? You're just kind of going to the gym wherever you are. You're getting those gains no matter where you are in the Fortnite island. And it's just a fun little goofy emote for people to use. However, it doesn't really match the Christmas aesthetic. So I thought originally they were just going to sell it in the item shop, right? As one of like those Fortnite original emotes that Epic Games sells every once in a while, which of course, you know, Epic Games does a lot of collabs as well. So it's like one of those emotes that would have been rarer to see in the item shop, but it would have been nice to see sold there. So it was a little bit uh, like off in a way, I guess is the best way to put it when I saw that this was actually a free emote for Winterfest because you would think for playing with five friends and everything during the winter time the emote you and your friends would be getting would be something related to Christmas or whatever and not so much just hey you know it's it's a curling iron emote you can lift weights now because you totally carried your friend through all those matches right it just kind of feels weird to me for the timing right it feels like they could have put something more festive in there but at the same time I'm not going to complain too much because at the end of the day it's a free cosmetic right it's a free cosmetic that you'll be able to get by playing with friends. Now it is interesting to see how they're doing it in a way where it's like play with five friends in any mode because that gives me a few questions. Firstly, does this mean I can play save the world with those friends? If I play save the world with those friends because technically save the world is a mode, is it going to count towards that five friend progress? Now, my own expert opinion to this would have to be that, yeah, Epic Games is probably going to make it count for people who play Save the World because they did mention that you could play literally any mode and it would count, but it still is something where it's like, we've had situations in the past where Epic Games had some similar wording to stuff like this, and then certain modes and things that you would think would have counted just ended up not working or counting towards anything at all. So it is something that, you know, is a fair question, I guess, to assume just based on the previous knowledge of how Epic Games has actually handled stuff like this, but I assume with how many people are probably thinking Save the world is allowed based on how the blog post described it that if anything does end up happening they'll do a make good where they basically give people who played save the world with five friends that emote for free as well because we know epic games does you know own up to their own mistakes every once in a while and does these make goods being like hey you deserve this so here you go go ahead and claim it and enjoy your emote but other than that, the only real complaint I have regarding this is just the fact that there isn't really a way to track it, right? Like, this would be one of those few things where having an actual website event like we've seen with, like, the Nindo and stuff like that before would be good because you would be able to actually visually see how many friends have pro properly, you know, been tracked for this event, right? How many friends have you actually played with that Epic Games has decided, yep, those are indeed your friends. Good job, here's your emote, right? Because I feel that since there's no real way to track it, there's going to be a lot of people trying to contact support after, you know, Know, January 6th comes around being like hey I never received this emote or something and who knows maybe they'll end up getting a note from an Epic Games employee or something being like you only played with three and a half friends right it was like one of your friends was cut in half when you played with them so you know they just counted as half a friend and you ended up not getting the emote just because of that right it's something that obviously you know they're not gonna be able to track half of a friend right 
that's obviously just a joke. But at the same time, it is an actual concern because, you know, I think I would just personally prefer being able to visually see the progress, even if I wasn't going to get that emote right away, right? Even if it was, like, still delayed to January, I think I would have preferred just overall being able to still see that, hey, I am getting progress towards this. This is a thing that looks like I'm on path to getting. I just have to wait a bit to get it. And we know Epic Games could have just done a simple quest system where they could have made it an actual quest in game. You know, they could have had its own like quest uh, tag identifier and everything for it in order to make it a lot more user friendly, I would say. But of course, Epic Games is always experimenting with new things. And at the end of the day, it's a free emote, right? If you really are worried about doing this, just go ahead, find some people on Twitter, find some people in the comments down below, make some big parties, play some Team Rumble or just some normal matches together and make sure you have played with enough people that you can qualify for the emote once it officially gets granted to everyone in early January. I would like to know in the comments down below though, what do you think about this curling iron emote? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you wish we got something different as a free emote and had this one sold in the item shop or something? I'm just curious what everyone's thoughts and opinions are on this because it's definitely one of those more unique emotes to see in the game and I think that's just because nowadays with Epic, we have a million collab emotes, right? It seems like every single new emote we get in the game has has recently at least been a lot of collabs. I mean, we recently, recently got the, you know, the Metallica collaboration with the game, so it's just a whole entire thing where it's like, wow, we're getting some Fortnite original things, but of course, like all of them, they're usually always locked to doing specific events instead of being sold in the item shop, which of course, I love free goodies, but it's like, I would like to see some Fortnite original stuff get sold in the item shop again that isn't just, you know, a rare Fortnite original cosmetic from like chapter one or something. But with that said, however, yep, basically you can play some Fortnite with some friends, get some free emotes, and you know, get some free goodies, of course, throughout the Winterfest 2022 event. So hop in game, find some people, you know, use the comments if you need to, and get your progress towards that emote going. And I'll see you champs and champettes tomorrow with another YouTube video, so until next time, peace out.